another crazy day on the day by day farm. We got the sun over here and all clouds over there. Is it just me or do you hate the noise of when you walk on the Yeah. And it, it is not a nice feeling. It makes your teeth hurt. Listen. It makes your teeth hurt? Yeah. No, I just I get really annoyed by that sound. Yeah. You know it's cold when the poop in your horse's warm barn stall is rock hard. Ooh, that is not rock hard. Don't step on that one. These ones are frozen. So we need to cut her tail. Oh yeah, her tail is long. Don't let Gabby do it. Oh no, Gabby's the best at cutting. I know, she is. All right, so we got Penny Pickle eating her uh, poop supplement. I noticed it her poop. See, she's got some. This is kind of what her poop used to look like. When we got her, it was even more runny. And now she's kind of getting some little nuggets there. It's super important to examine your horse's poop, you guys, to see how well they're digesting their food and how well their body is working for them. But anyway, welcome to today. Good morning. And welcome to today. It's really cold. It's like minus 17 on the day by day farm. Go try out banana, strawberry banana smoothies. They're From Naked Smoothies. <laughs> That's what they're called. They, because if you just eat those, you can be naked and be beautiful. Oh my God. All right, so it is, whoa, minus five in the barn. I have something to say I already am beautiful. Yes, you are. Chores get faster and faster as the temperature gets colder and colder. Typically in Canada, we get this temperature, like this cold, starting in January, and it doesn't let up to like March. Well, March it starts to get warmer. It was minus 17 in the night, and that's pretty cold. And usually we have like the whole winter of this. With February, Jan the, end, the middle of January and February being the coldest, so we kind of got off lucky. Like this year has been really nice. If we actually only get one month of really, really cold weather, it's like a good thing. I'm releasing really but the beast. It's really cold. No, don't release them yet. She's not done. Oh wait, is she done? Are you done? Let's see. And you need a brush, Penny Pickle. You're a dirty girl. All right, we are training, training the puppies, Here. ponies. Oh, you oh, are we going first? Yeah. Oh, we're going first. Okay. Pen, don't make me look bad. Don't make me look bad. Whoa, okay. Don't make me look bad. Don't make me look bad. Whoa. You made me look bad. Yeah, that did not work out. That did not work. Oh, did the po did the did Gracie go behind me? I didn't even see her. Did they all go? Oh, they were all out before for me? like an hour. Oh, who were you training in the stall? Molly. Oh, all right, gotcha. Maybe you didn't listen as well. You oh. I am still sleeping. Wide open? Come on, Mabruby. You can't stay out there with your poor feet. You know it's cold when your car is like, yeah, I don't really want to start. My car has never had problems starting before. I turned it on and it went, and it seemed like it was struggling, you guys. Whew. It's cold. If you guys are wondering about my Pro Ride vest, you're probably not even wondering about my Pro Ride vest. And this is not sponsored. But I just want to tell you if I like it or if I don't like it. But what I find with it is that because it's insulated, it's got that silver stuff in it. I don't know. Like tin foil almost. It's at the back. Isn't that the front too? Just at the back. But anyways, because it has all that, it actually adds this whole other level of insulation and even if I don't have the battery in even if I don't have the battery turned on it keeps me warmer than life like and the other thing I really like about it is that two other things one it, it, it fits so nice where it like kind of holds all your your intestines like really snug and it feels nice like I love that feeling and also uh, the size that I got oh, no heat is on the size that I got, I got a bigger size than I thought I would need because I'm so tall and it is actually a really nice length on me like all the vests I've ever tried before in my life because I'm taller go to my waist like high up on my waist and I hate that look this thing actually goes down and kind of goes over my hips a little and I absolutely love it like 
I love it. So I ordered this one. This one, because it had the heating coils in all the different areas, they have other colors that just have heating coils in the front and back, I think. And um, they also have a black one, I think, that has the heating coils everywhere. Probably should have got the black one. I didn't think, I didn't know if I'd like this camo very much. It's not really me, but I actually really like it. I like it even better than the black. So while I'm waiting for the car to, to warm up, I just want to give you that little update. It is so cold, minus 15, minus 15. Whew. Poor horses, we're gonna go check on them today. But right now, I'm headed to the grocery store to get a few things that we need. Girls are starting school. All right, we are in Sophie's room. She wants to give you guys a tour of her new bearded dragons crate, cage, tank, whatever you want to call it. So basically, no matter what we show you, people are going to complain. People are going to say we're, our tank is too small, our tank is too big. Somebody even already said our tank is too big, too small. Somebody already said our tank was too small and they don't even know how big our tank is. Yeah, that happened. So uh, we bought all the stuff. Um, specifically for the reasons that we wanted them. We consulted our breeder is amazing, such amazing support this whole entire time. So I'm gonna just show you the tank and if you have a kind, helpful comment, please feel free to post it below. If you're feeling frustrated or angry about our setup um, and you have questions, go ahead and comment a kind question below. I'll try and explain everything as we go along. So. So this is our tank. This is our tank setup, you guys. It is a 95 gallon tank. We bought a juvenile bearded dragon, so she's not a baby. She's five months old. And this is we took the TV stand out of Gabby's bedroom and put it in here. So this is it. So I'm gonna explain all the things quick. So this is her basking log. This is her hide, and then she's got like a really nice um hide over here a cave um we got some fern plants and then we got a vine on top of her hammock her hammock is a bit high for her right now um i don't i think i'll probably lower it we got her this bendy log thing this is really great because it's kind of got a really rough surface to it so she can kind of climb on it it's really got adds stability to to some of her things like the hammock it kind of makes it stand up a bit better um but she can scratch and shed on that thing also over here we have her food in her water bowl. We have um, the thermometer up there and we have the thing that measures the humidity. I also have another one over here, you can't see it. Um, I just have it in there right now because we're trying to perfect our heating system currently. Um, I wanna know what her basking temperature is. I already know what the temperature of the tank has been. So because it's a 95 gallon tank, it is a bit big for her. It won't be big for long. We had to make sure that we had enough light. So this, uh, so we have the UVB and the UVA, and this is a UVA and B bulb mixed together. And then we have the long tube light in the back there. This is sufficient. We got sufficient lighting. This one goes up to 160 watts. And we made sure that we got the lighting right. For any of you guys who don't know, um, the lighting system is really, really important because if that heat, the, that heat that they get, kind of like from the sun, is what helps them metabolize their food. So if the heating is not right, they won't metabolize their food correctly, and that will end into a whole a lot of problems. This is it. This is the tank. I think we did a pretty fun job. It can be a little bit stressful and overwhelming to a young a juvenile bearded dragon. So uh, we might end up taking all this out until she gets a little bit bigger, especially with the whole crickets hiding issue. You have to take crickets out so that they don't stay in, so crickets don't stay in there all the time. So uh, basically that's it. Underneath here we have all of our cleaning supplies. We have our gut load stuff for our crickets. We have, she's got vitamin, she's got a multivitamin that she'll get twice a week. She's got calcium and calcium plus D that we will alternate on, on a three day cycle. We have this that is just not something that she'll have on a regular basis. We have a whole diet thing. If you guys want to see that, Sophie will, uh, give it to you here's the pooper scoop yeah that's what you get for bearded dragons yeah. this is our setup for the crickets but we're going to do something completely different with them eventually very quickly very soon actually so yeah that's it that's our whole entire setup i mean there's a lot more to uh bearded dragons than just the setup like 
literally the diet is rocket science you have to prepare it it has to be like they get vegetables and stuff and when they're young they get a lot more protein and then when they get older you switch it around like there's just a lot a lot but it's amazing how the human brain works and you learn it so fast like two weeks ago i hardly knew anything when my sister made it look so easy she just threw a bunch of crickets in and walked away and um Two weeks later, uh, we know a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. Anyway, that's it. Uh, be prepared, coming soon to a vlog near you will be a meet our new pet video. You should see how organized I am. Yeah, let's go see except how organized for, Gabby is. Except for when mom uses this and leaves it like that. Yeah. She just throws it in there. Mm -hmm, like, I no, do. This has to go with that. Okay. I'll or try and be better. I'll try and be better, Gabby. I promise. I'll try and be better. Dog loves, uh, crickets. Yeah, your dog loves crickets. She, that's what her summer diet consists of. Yeah, she eats crickets. crickets. She catches crickets. She eats crickets. It's barn. true. Because they they all go in the barn in the summer. All right, go make your bed, and we'll do a video for your channel on your new bedroom. Gabby has been redecorating her bedroom. Gabby did. Gabby's gonna be putting up a new video on her channel really, really Look soon. Her. Look at her. Yeah, she's like, let me eat all the crickets. Mine's just sleeping. Gabby decorated her room. She bought a whole bunch of new stuff. She did a bunch of stuff in her room. I can't wait to show you guys. So if you want to watch that, which channel, Gabby? I made a noise and she's like, what is that? Yeah, I love the head tilt. Daisy doesn't have any head tilts. Mainly it's border collies. Yeah, some, and poodles. They, they poodles wanna, do that. They want to know what you're... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a border collie. Okay, what is your channel name, Gabriella? Um... Always Gabby. Always Gabby. I forgot to tell you guys about the sub trait. Sub trait is kind of what is on the ground. Um, I know that sand does not cause a problem unless the lighting is correct. The lighting is really difficult, so we just are always going to be safer than sorry. We have tile on the bottom of our tank. I left a little bit of tile there. Um, and we're just using paper towel for now to, to be able to clean up. Her mess is easy because she is young. Horses are getting a new hay bale. I'm worried it's too cold to ride. Can you guys see it? It doesn't feel that cold. Like, you know when it's too cold when you breathe out and you're, when you breathe in and it feels like fire in your lungs. We've never had our horses at a barn that has fed them so well. Like. We've been at places where they've had hay bales and stuff, but this place fills them like the minute they're about to be empty, poof, he puts it in. Like, look at all this hay. Like, that's a lot of hay. Oh, good boy, Finny Finn. Yeah. It's cold out there, Finn. They're happy to come today. Even Storm came to me. When it's that cold, you're happy, huh? So this guy's gonna have to get another blanket on. He's got like a warm blanket, but he's missing a lot of hair. Hi. Hi, Bambi. Hello. Hello, big guy. You happy to be back in work? He seems happier. Who seems happier? Right. The reason we have our bearded dragon tank set up and we're trying to figure it all out is because we need to make sure that it is all the right. We need our husbandry that's like all the lighting and stuff to make sure it's right. You don't want to bring like a bearded dragon home, especially a young one, and not have it good because like I said, it's the lights that, it's the lights that help them digest the food. And if they're not digesting the food, bad things can happen. So. Anyway, I have like a, a little thing that tells me what the temperature is at different spots of the cage and she needs to have it at 105 minimum where she's basking, where she's like laying in the sun and it's like 97. So that's the problem with having a huge tank is that it takes more inventive ideas to get it up. So I'm gonna have to raise her basking log and then I'm gonna probably have to get a ceramic heater for the night because I don't think it's warm enough. I don't think it, our horse, our house is warm enough for her. So uh, we're glad to be able to uh, figure it all out before we get her, before we bring her home. Gotta be kind. Well, I need his head over so I can put the saddle on the right spot. Okay. Listen, she needs your head. They all get excited when they see me because they know that in my pockets, like even Storm knows, in my pockets are all the treats. 
They love the owner though. He got off the tractor. He's putting the hay out there. He got off the tractor to help me find how to hook Storm's blanket up because one of the under blankets was off. And all the horses charged him. Like they're all like, yes, my man. Like they all love him. Like he's a nice guy. They all love him. They respect him, but they all love him too. I know. Why you got the crick in your neck? Hey, he's got such a long neck that when he twists his neck, go to this side. Let's see. Can you, can you, can you turn it to this side? It's weird how he does that. Uh, chiropractor says his neck is good though. Anytime Chino has a problem, it's his lower back and pelvis. You are big. You are a big horse. Gabby loves a big horse. What's your favorite size of horse, Gabby? 16.3. 16.3. Would you go bigger? Yes. Yes. Would you go 17.1? Do you guys remember when Gabby was, I think, 11 and we tried a horse that was 17.1? 15 years old. His name was, who remembers what his name was? There's a video. Gabby, do you remember his name? Tommy. Tommy, yeah. Anyway, really, really nice horse. And he came with his own custom saddle. It was $4,000. It was a high end. Oh my gosh, Gabby's going to be losing her mind. I'm distracting Chino, causing her problems. Anyway, he came with his own custom saddle and it was four, an extra $4,000. And I think the horse was only $5,000. Like, after going through all the stuff we've gone through, I should have just went, we should have just went for that horse. But Fiona was worried that he was too big for her and if she fell, but honestly, she's only fallen a couple of times, knock on wood. A couple of times since she was 11. How many times do you think you've fallen? Less than 10. Three? More. Five? Probably. Yeah, she's like me. You don't fall many times before you learn to hold on. Who dares me to ride Chino today? Who dares me? Do you think I should be brave? Gabby tells me that he's so bumpy that he'll just throw me like one trot and he'll just throw me up over his head. That's what she tells me. And I remember when she got him, she was all like, whoa, wow, whoa, wow. It took her two weeks to figure out how to ride him, like just to trot on him. Who thinks I should do it? You think I'm brave enough? Being brave doesn't mean that you're not scared. Being brave it means that you do it anyway. Just like I did it yesterday with Penny and rode out in the snow that I wasn't sure about. Had the best time. What do you think, Chino Bambino? You think I should ride you? Right, so if he's giving all the love. Mom, come leg me up. Come leg me up? Mom, can you please leg me up? Ooh, it's cold. No. All right, so. He doesn't fit his butt. Well, he will. Storming goes down to here. Don't touch it. Okay. It can't. It, it's goes too tight on Okay, the all right, okay, good. Gino, I'm gonna give you a little bit of treats. Yeah, I'm gonna give you some treats too, handsome man. I know, he got all the treats because he let all of us ride him. I'm gonna undo the first. Okay, yeah. Because it's too tight. Yeah, we need to get another well, blanket. Back with their all right, so we're gonna do it the best we can. We need to get more of these. Remember, the girls got these for Christmas. Sophie does Easter, I mean. Sophie doesn't even use hers. All the horses were freaking scared of it. Yeah, and oh. Gabby loves this one. This is her favorite colored Chino one. Chino freaking ripped it. All of it. Ch Chino, Chino ripped it. Here. Yeah. So uh, the Easter Bunny might have to bring more. Yeah. Two kinds of blankets they need. Oh, I see it. So oh they need, Gabby wants a blanket. Do you want? too sharp for his big butt. I know, but at least it's like when you layer blankets, at least he it keeps them warm. Keep this. Yeah. At least you know the piping stays. Well, that was not Chino. And this was such this a. This was Chino. It was not broken before I put it on. Oh, it was Chino. another horse. Trust no. me. It, it was not broken before I put it on Chino. But some horse grabbed him. Chino. Some horse grabbed yes. him. Yes. But I put it on Chino and then... I mean, if I had time to take it home, I could sell that. That's not that big of a deal. That is. It won't ever look... Anyway, good. I'll order. We'll look at the colors. Maybe you could get a bright yellow one. All right. So, uh, I may or may not have ridden a Chino. You'll have to and wait, failed. probably. And failed. I did not fail. I told you. I did not fail. I rode him. Barely. Rode like the wind. Barely. <laughs> Anyway, you'll have to wait to, till tonight so to watch that. Arena. Yeah, never ridden a horse like him in my entire life, like ever. See how nobody can ride him in the arena? It's too yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, agree. Now like, you know why I cry. yeah, she does. It's true. Like, it's hard. All right, I'm gonna go start the car so it's nice and warm when you guys get in there. Are you guys okay to put your horses out? Yeah, we do. All right, you wait for her, Sophie, Gabby. You wait for Gabby, Sophie. No, you know what I'm saying. Yeah.